The glory of our Pharaoh, Ramses II, pervades the land. So that the legacy of his reign will live forever, it has been decreed that a great monument and temple dedicated to his rule be constructed deep in Nubia, and Pharaoh himself has selected the perfect spot for this creation. From the rose-colored sandstone cliffs overlooking the Nile's west bank at Abu Simbel, you will oversee the sculpting of four massive seated figures of His Majesty. Surfaces of the monument, cut from the living rock, will proclaim the heroic deeds of Pharaoh during his great triumph at the Battle of Kadesh. This massive monument, while heralding the heroics of our leader, will also serve as a reminder to the peoples of Nubia of the greatness and power of Egypt. For while Nubia is rich in deposits of gold and other rare gems, its people have always sat uneasily under Egyptian dominion. To this end, you should be ever prepared for defense, and be able to dispatch troops should Pharaoh need them. Sandstone can be exported for construction elsewhere in the kingdom, as can other items that you should be able to produce from the bountiful resources of the region. Precious little wood can be found, however. You will no doubt have to establish a trade route to import this commodity, for it will be needed for the immense sculpture's scaffolding. Hey guys, welcome back to Pharaoh Cleopatra. We are here post-Kadesh, and yes, we will be celebrating our victory there. <laughs> <laughs> Abu Simbel, Colossi of Abu Simbel. Population 2200, prosperity rating of 35, kingdom rating of 80, culture of 35, monument of 44. We are playing on maximum difficulty. Let's go to the city. Okay, let's slow the game down. Let's just pause it. We've got a bit of a mission here. Now, I have looked a little bit at this mission, and first things first, I do not want to deal with scorpions, so problem solved there. And I don't think I can trap those guys yet, but I will try to trap them soon. Um, but yes, let's have a look at the raw materials we can produce. Clay pit, sandstone quarry, we can get fig farms and barley, so beer is a possibility. We got jewelers, potters, breweries, weavers, brickworks, shipwrights, construction guilds, carpenters, stone masons. We have our monument of Abu Simbel, which, looking at the cliffs, we've got uh, we've actually got three options of where to place it: here, here, or here. So, just for symmetry, I'm gonna put it right in the middle, um, and it makes a big cliff. It look, makes a big cliff. Okay, so th there's there's Abu Simbel. Uh, is it actually? Yeah, it is called Abu Simbel. Let's have a look at the map here. We are down here in the southern uh, region of the Nile, which is Upper Egypt. That is correct. Uh, let's see. Hair sells gems. They buy pottery, linen, chickpeas, meat. Okay, Kerma buys linen, sells luxury goods. Quenet sells gems and copper, buys linen and beer. Okay, Wast buys luxury goods, sells, sells flax. So we can import flax to sell linen, and we can sell barley here. We could sell sandstone here, this is a water trade route up here, and here buys chickpeas, figs, and linen. So we could sell a bit more linen and more figs, but if I recall, we do not have flax farms. So our exports of linen are basically limited to um, what we can what we can import in terms of flax. So the main road is down here. If I look at sandstone quarries, it's basically got to be down here. There's no real... Uh, we could place a couple here, I guess. That might be handy. Uh, I could fit one there. I, yeah, I could fit a few here, not that many. I could fit way more on this side. But maybe if we're just getting like a basic export going, we could fit one, two three, four, five. Oh, we can fit five right there. That should give us quite a lot. Okay. First thing, we do need a water crossing, which is going to be a ferry landing, which I will place here and just place that here. Now, I'm trying not to waste any time here. So housing area, it's pretty much got to go here. So I'm going to give some space for the industry here. If we have, like, the sandstone quarry, a road there. Let's leave a gap, a road there. 
couple houses road here. This is going to be where our housing area is. Yes. Um, yes. Let's give it two more tiles. Okay. So we're going to have a basic housing area here. And how big should this be? Uh, actually, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. I'm actually going to leave a three gap, so it's slightly different from normal. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yes. You don't want to exceed half the loop being 22 to make sure things can always walk around. So basically the loop should never be longer than 44. If that is 16 plus 16, that is 32 plus 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 32 plus 9. Is that actually too much? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. No, it should be fine. It should be... Uh, maybe it's a bit long. Let's, let's just shorten it. By two tiles. Maybe it is a bit long, just to be safe. It's probably fine. It's probably fine, but it's okay. Now, uh, let's make sure we don't mess up the housing here. I am going to have a road extend from here to have two houses there. And we're gonna make a industry block around here, leaving some gaps. Uh, tile of three tiles? Uh, we'll start from here. We're gonna need docks, which are gonna go here, basically. We can fit two docks there. So this road is guaranteed to go up like this. We can loop this round like this. Uh, with that housing block that far away... Can I actually get close enough? I think it's okay if I do this. That's not too long. So that I can fit that house there. Right? That should be okay? Perhaps to secure that, I will do that. Okay. So we're going to have a house there. We're going to have a house there. Put down the houses in this order first to make sure that they move in in this order so we can get everything running. So this is going to be the start of our housing, right? One, two, three. That provides employment to the water crossing, the first industry area, all of that stuff. Okay. Okay. Um... Then we just dump housing, I think. Yeah, just dump housing. Forgot to turn off H. Dump housing. Water supply. Let me check gods. Um, patron god Ra. Let's make sure, I have to be very careful about this, not to upset Ra. We doing this shrine to Osiris and Ptah. So we have a shrine to Osiris and a shrine to Ptah. We're gonna need firehouse. 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 Architect's post. Architect's post. Architect's post. Police station. Police station. Apothecary. Apothecary. Physician. Physician.
position for a three tile building there. Okay. We're probably going to need more people than this, so perhaps I just go ahead and put down the second row of houses there. That's going to be probably enough people, right? And just to stabilize this, I will put down two more houses there. Okay, that's the start of our city. <sighs> ah. Let us speed the game up. Get these people moving in. Now, the first industries we can get going is beer. We can sell some beer there. Does anyone else buy beer? Is it just one trade route? They buy barley. It's just one trade route for beer and they also buy linen, which means we can import flax from Wast. And we can also sell pottery to He, two tiles, water trade route. Okay, so we could set up some industries here. I basically need to get them all sort of going. And then... Yeah, we get them all going. Employees needed. Let us prioritize infrastructure, religion, and health and sanitation. Let us drop taxes to zero, because we're not taxing people. How do I set this up to get things going? We are going to need the dock. We are going to need room for clay pits. One, two, three. We are going to need room for potters. We are going to need... Work camps around this side. What's the room for clay pit here? There, equal to that. Can I put a clay pit here? I'm just trying to make this as efficient as possible. Clay pits can go all along there. So I am just going to put the work camp there. Right? Okay. Once the work camp has employment, I can... Do I want to hook these areas up? Should be fine. If I do this, what's the potential for a pavilion here? Uh, yeah, probably I'm not gonna put a pavilion there, so I'm just gonna roadblock this up. Okay, that's roadblocked. Then we just wait for employees. Yeah. Fire, damage, all okay. Health should be fine. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, military. <laughs> I just hope it's not like Kadesh. I just hope it's not like Kadesh. But I think this setup is gonna work out to our advantage. This house has moved in, so these... Do we still not have employment? Well, I better start putting down like a second firehouse, right? Because fires can be tricky. Is this area not getting employment? It says poor access to workers. Are we just short on workers? Oh yes, we are just short on workers. That's fine. Nothing should burn down quite... Eh. <laughs> okay, that firehouse is working. Okay. Put the clay pits on that side. That might actually work. I'm just planning for potential here. Okay, there we go. Two firehouses in this area. Not the worst thing. Okay. Infrastructure is going. It's still not filled out, but it's fine. More people. Way more people moving in. Okay. Okay. I don't want to put down the fields quite yet, because if I put down the fields, I know it'll flood, but putting down fresh fields will be highest fertility. 
And we can't even get the pottery industry going. And then we have... So we're gonna sell pottery. We're gonna import flax to sell linen. We're gonna sell beer. We can set up some sandstone mines there to sell sandstone. And to shorten this distance... I can actually... Put a road here, but roadblock this. So the dock... Uh, is that a good spot for it? Maybe that's not a good spot for it. I want the sh a shortcut to this side so I can put the sandstone stored here and then the dock can just sort of make its way across. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, water carrier is going around, providing enough... Uh, water for everyone. We're probably going to need one more shrine to each god as we approach our desired population. I think we need about a thousand people. Right? We need probably about a thousand people. Poor access to workers. That's fine. Industry and commerce are starting to come in here. That has some workers, which means we could start some barley farms. Don't see why not. Efficiency is a bit of a problem. But I'm gonna put down. How do I want to do this? Let's just start this first. We're going to have a road come out. And hook up to there. Right? And irrigation is going to go... I've been told one tile irrigation doesn't always work, but we're going to do this. Right? It basically alternates road, irrigation, road, irrigation. Is this irrigated? It's not irrigated, you see that? Yeah, one tile irrigation doesn't always work, so that's not technically irrigated. But I can't shorten the road because it has to touch that. Ah, uh, we'll just have to live with it. Okay, more people are moving in. We're short by 55 employees. Oh, there's the flood. Okay, so yeah, we can't do any farming this first year. The clay pit is finally functional, which means we could work on putting down a storage yard. Like... here? Is this... did it lose access? It's okay. This one is going to just hold on to pottery. Two more potters there, another clay pit there. Okay, okay. I think this is going quite well. I think this is going quite well, right? Nice little city we've set up here. I'm actually going to move this firehouse. So we have a second firehouse roaming around here. I'm going to replace this with houses. Just to make sure employment is stabilized. Desirability, not the best, but... Population. Oh! I forgot. We have scorpions. Oh, I can't trap them there. I need that for sandstone. Damn. We've trapped those over there. But yeah, we need we need these for sandstone. I'll wait for them to move a little bit further away. They aren't killing people yet. Okay, no employment problems means we can boost up our clay pit, boost up our potters. Okay. Oh, they're killing some people. I forgot about those... The rat, the giant rad scorpions that live in ancient Egypt. They are a bit of a problem. No workers live nearby. Is this block too long? Did I make this block too long? Hold on. How long is this block? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. It might be a little too long. 
I think I have to shorten it. Right? Shortening to there. Removing this road. No, I need that road. I need this road to sort of loop around like that. And then roadblock that. That shortens the road without changing too much. Yes. Yes, okay. That should stabilize employment. <laughs> uh, short by 10 employees, okay. I think that works. Yeah, 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 that works, that works. Okay, then we need to get barley, sandstone, flax. But we need one... one industry going at least. Shot by nine employees, okay. Those rad scorpions still hanging out around there. A little uncomfortable. How much pottery can we sell? Two coins. Water trade route. Okay. Floodplains coming back out. Rad scorpions killing some people there. I think I can trap this one here. Hmm. Maybe not. That might still get in the way of things. It's not too important if they kill people now. We're not transporting any goods. But you know... Let me just do this. He's going there. That should work. Okay. At least we don't have to worry about them. Okay. These barley farms are now going to be going. We can sell how much of this? Uh, we can sell one coin of beer. And then we can sell barley to Mennefer, right? Two coins of barley. So... Based on my calculations, after thinking about this before, we need seven barley farms, right? Seven barley farms. How much are each of these? 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have this road. Extend down like this. Irrigation here and here. Okay, we are low on money. Yeah, that farmland is not irrigated, but we'll have to live with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should give us all the barley we need for all the beer we need. Really, no workers live nearby. That is a problem. Is this block really too big? I mean, we could shorten it a little bit more by doing this. Out of money, rescue funds, 1,500. Okay, that shortens the block a little bit, but I don't feel like this block is too big. 500 residences, okay. At 500 residences, I am going to put down another shrine to Ra. Because I just... We, a Ra curse will wreck us. Right? A Ra curse will absolutely destroy us. Okay, the clay pits are working. One of the potters is working. We have 13% unemployment. Barley is going to start coming in. I need another storage yard. For... Barley. And beer. So I'm going to put a storage yard here, set to accepting half barley, half beer. And we can sell not too much beer. So I'm just going to go...
One, two, three, four. We might need five, I'm not too sure, but four should do it, right? It's only one coin, it's only one coin. I think they produce four to five hundred a year. Unemployment of 23%, really. Hopefully that deals with it a little bit. We can always put down another work camp, but we're gonna need weavers for a flax industry soon. At least the potters are now working. I think shortening that did actually manage to stabilize this block. I think. <laughs> okay. Do we have room for weavers? No workers live nearby. Are you serious? How? How is this a problem? Well, pottery is starting to come in. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, pottery is in. All the barley farms are working. No employment problems, the breweries did it. Okay, more people are moving in though. I think I can now open up that trade route. It's pretty cheap. Water trade route. To start selling pottery. Uh, where is it? There it is. Export everything we have. Okay, so we can at least start selling some. Now, each of these barley farms should bring us between five to 700 based on how quickly they start working. Okay, we are low on money. Pottery is going to start going out. Beer is going to come in and then we can open up the trade route to Puenet, which buys linen. And then we'll have to open the trade route to Wast to import flax, right? Once we got all three industries going, we could then open up the trade route to Mennefer to sell barley and sandstone, which aren't worth that much, but might as well since we've got it. I put five sandstone mines here. We could put a storage yard right here for sandstone. Sell that. Okay, that's the plan. That's the plan. I think, I think it's gonna be okay. Copernicus says, check the gods. Osiris and Ptah need shrines. Okay, we are gonna need shrine to Osiris. We are gonna need shrine to Ptah. Okay, we are selling some pottery. No work, really? Are you serious? I'm gonna have to place houses in this block. I can't believe it. I mean... How is this block too big? Am I, am I misunderstanding how this works? Is this roadblock messing it up? Well, I'm just gonna have to put some houses, an apothecary, and a physician. It sucks a little bit to do this, but if it's gonna stabilize this block, I'll have to do it. I also need a police station. Okay. I don't, I don't know why this block is not stabilized in terms of employment. We're almost in debt, but we should be able to sell a bit more pottery as long as this storage yard stays open. The guy in... Slingshot says the guy in white from... Yeah, the, the guy looking for employment has a short range, but it should be 22 with, depending on the spawn glitch, should be 21 at least. And this block is not... it's not 44, is it? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. It is actually a couple tiles too long. Would you look at that? Fixing this, though, would mean I need to get rid of this little loop here. But I need to shift this to this side, then shift the two docks. And that's going to be cost quite a bit of money with a dock at 150. Hmm. What is his exact range then? Put some fig farms down? Why? To feed people? You know I don't do that. We don't do that here. <laughs> Feeding the people? <laughs> no, 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 no. We make money. Fed people doesn't make us money. How are we not producing enough pottery here? At least the breweries are coming in. The barley's coming in. Each of these... I have to go clear across 600? I have to go clear okay. across the city with these goods. It'll take all day. Flood is okay. Flood is okay. Okay, more money came in. Beer's gonna start coming in, and that should give us the income we need. No employment problems. Okay. Um, with that much money... I basically need to redo the water crossing and then shift... The ferry landing is only 60, so I'm going to slow the game down. Can I just do this? Does this count? I think I have to get rid of that, just to make sure it doesn't glitch out. Yes, yes, yes. Wait for that to disappear. Okay. Water crossing water crossing shift this road like that get rid of that actually it'll be faster for things if I leave that and roadblock it I always forget that's actually a better way of doing things can I fit a dock here I can't if the dock goes there it still doesn't work it has to be shifted one more. It has to be... Oh, my, this, is this is just so annoying. But at least for now, I can... Move this second firehouse. Architect's post. I can then get rid of that road. Get rid of this road. I just despawned some barley there. My mistake. But I think this first year it's fine. And that should shorten the block enough for me to not need houses, I think. I think. Okay. Okay, we need beer. Uh, the beer trade route is a land trade route, right? It's 400 to open? Okay. It's 400 to open. Okay, but this block should work. I am going to need to move these clay pits. Okay. Now, if I look at these white walkers, they should be making proper loops now, which means I can get rid of these houses. Beer is in. I am just going to open this trade route now. It will put me in debt, but I will export beer immediately. Because we have four units of beer. Let's get those guys in. Okay. And looking at these white walkers, they're now making full loops. This block is now fine. Yes. Yes. Which means I can get rid of these houses, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. 
Land caravan is here. Buy some beer, please. Good flood. Good. That gives us the resources we need. I'm going to move... You know, we just don't have enough clay pits here. I need, like, three of these. And maybe another potter. I'm going to slow the game down. Get rid of the water crossing. Fix this road. It needs to go here and here. So that I can move this dock to finally be in the right spot. I'll move the dock there. Because this road needs to do that. And now I can fit the other dock there. Guys, I did it. I finally set it up correctly. <laughs> okay, so we are selling 1,500 beer a year. We can sell 2,500 pottery a year. So yeah, we need five potters. Six potters would be safer. How are the gods feeling? They're fine. Employment. We have unemployment, so I will just go ahead and put down another potter. Why does it seem like we're so short on clay? Is my sense of how industry works in this... How do we only have one potter working? I mean, okay, I did just destroy the clay pits, but... Hmm. I will, I will just keep an eye on that. <laughs> uh, Fire Shadow says, I just love the scorpion traps. Yeah, I mean, I'm not dealing with that again. Okay, money is starting to go up. So if I wanted to import flax, I would also need more housing. So I need to bring in more people. How much is this? 400 to do this? If I do that, that should bring in more people. And I can put a storage yard. Right here. For accepting half flax, half linen. People move in, import flax, put down weavers, more beer is in. We are going to sell it, thankfully. So, pottery and beer are now going. Selling 1,500 a year. 4, 8, 12, 16. This should cover it. This should cover it. Right? New, new batch of barley is going to come in. How much is it to open this trade route? 1,300. Not that great. This employment should give us the people we need for a sandstone industry as well. Which we don't need to set up now, but I do have the plan on how to set it up, so that's good. Okay, all these potters are now working. Okay, people are moving in, unemployment is coming in, I can put down the weavers that I wanted. I'm gonna need... At least four, right? I need to leave room for a storage yard there. So now we can start importing flax. Wait, how much is it to open the trade route? 650? We have to wait, don't we? We still have idle potters. Employees needed. I think I just put down another clay pit because the clay pits can't seem to keep up. Okay. We're teetering. We're teetering on our money. Okay, I can open this trade route. I'm going to import... How much flax can we import a year? 2,500. Two coins. And we can sell... 2,500. So I just want to import all the flax to sell all the linen. 
right? Okay. 2,500 needs quite a few weavers, isn't it? At least five. Maybe six. But we'll do that first. Also, for efficiency, I will set this one to the linen flax and this one to the barley beer. Also, I did just remember there are requests on missions like this, so I probably should just put down one fig farm at least to get something going. Can I just squeeze like a fig farm here? A couple fig farms? Have a storage yard. Like here. Okay, we're in debt, but I think we can get out of it. It's gonna hold like half sandstone and half figs. Yeah, we're in debt. Okay, flax has come in. That's gonna cost us some money, but linen will eventually start going out. How's employment? No employment problems. Oh, <laughs> there's the request. 700 figs. Um... I'm not taking these supplies any further. I'm... I have... I... I'm... I... 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 I'm... I'm not taking these supplies any further until someone's available to unload them. We have 48. We don't quite have 700. We have 48 figs. Um, I don't think that's enough. <laughs> I don't think that's enough. And they're gonna drown. It's, it's, well. Hmm. Oh, 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 he made it! They made it! 48 figs. 48 figs did it, guys. We won the video game. Barley's come in. We're still in debt. Flax is coming in. Flax is being turned into linen. Uh, do we need another dock? We might need another dock. No employment problems. We are going to need more housing. Not like that. Forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just one one pot of 48 figs. That's uh, that's that's all we got. Are we selling the pottery? We have a lot in there. Can you like just buy it all please? Okay, we're gonna sell some beer here. I really don't want to hit a dead anniversary. A second dock would help I think. What a bountiful journey. Oh, okay, we made money. Okay. Uh, linen is going out already? Okay, we're selling linen. Fantastic. I'm gonna put down our second dock just to make sure this all keeps moving smoothly. Okay, linen's going out, beer's going out, pottery's going out. Should be maxing out? Maybe? These weavers aren't always working, but I think I need to shift a brewery down there and the weaver up here, but maybe it's okay. Maybe you can keep up. Oh, it's because, no, there's still barley in here. That's why he can't keep up with the flax, okay. We have two docks and they're still just hanging around. Like, go, go to the other one. Do we have three boats here? No. We have two docks, two boats. They should not be waiting, but I don't know. Okay, then to make I just remembered military. To make this worth opening, I need to be selling barley and sandstone, but I just remembered military. And maybe I should get that going. And we are gonna need more housing. Just to get that going. To keep up with required employment but money is starting to come in and not look too crap so that's nice it is November let me just check my export limits we do max beer we should be maxing pottery next year so we can sell all the barley we have left over 
if we so desire. Why isn't this dock working? A gift, 1,500 linen. Thank you very much. Six months to comply on those figs, well... Uh... The linen will help. 800 luxury goods, 11 months to comply. Okay, they want luxury goods, which means we gotta import gems. Do we have the ability? We have the ability to import gems. We could just import luxury goods straight, but that might kill us. Fuenet sells it for a land trade route. What is the price difference for importing? It is significant, isn't it? Luxury goods, buyers pay 310. Um, gems, 120. Jeez, that is, that is a difference. How many? 800. Turning it into an export is not worth it, right? Buyers pay, sellers receive, it's 30. It's not worth it. So this is not going to be an export. But I don't want the gems to be connected to the docks because that is a water trade route as well. So it needs to be a separated industry. But not necessarily that big. So I could just set it up here. A little tricky to set it up here. But not impossible. With those four houses there. I can just draw a line. Put a storage yard. Accepting. Gems and luxury goods. We'll need a firehouse. We'll need an architect's post. We can have... A couple jewelers. And that should work, right? We might need more jewelers because the time limit is 11 months. Ah, eh, it's actually okay. That's actually okay. We just need to make sure we... Employees needed. These are all working. Okay. More houses coming in. Okay. Jewelers produce very slow. Okay, we might need four jewelers, I think. They're asking for how much? 800. Population will be short, I think. Just fill that up. We suddenly have money. Okay. That's when we put down our first fort of archers. Which I will put... Now, looking at the possibility of invasions, I don't think they'll invade from here. I don't think they can invade from there. Invasions will come from this western side, so I don't want to build too close to the edge anyway. Will I be building up here? No. Because, if anything, I need to stay near the water. Military can go up this side. Yes, archers. Good. We got money, military can begin. And we immediately go into debt. <laughs> That's fine. Because we just imported all those gems. Let me stop importing gems. We have 600 in the storage yards. Two have showed up there. Okay, we're at least starting to produce those. So we are no longer importing gems. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Sandstone exports. <laughs> Look, setting up exports takes money as well. I don't think we're getting enough figs here.
I'm just gonna do that. Just so I know we'll be late on the fig thing, but this will guarantee we're never late again. Okay. They do produce... Oh wait, no, we're just really short on employees. I don't think I can cut back on anything. It's February now. We've got a lot of money again. More people will be moving in. We are short just by 20. I do have to move this... Weaver to closer. The, the brewery can be further away. But maybe it's okay. Uh, it's not the best. It's not the best. We are getting a lot of idle time. The potters are filled with clay. Are we maxing that? Not yet. It is only February, so that's fine. Archers are coming in, though. Delete that bad road tile near the irrigation. Why did I do that? Okay. <laughs> Easy mistake to make. How much time do we have on this? Eight months. Yeah, this is this is not going as well as it needs to. We are going to have to have a granary, aren't we? It could go out here. It's not the worst thing. This needs some road realignments. If I just shift this road. Shift that road. Feeding people would solve some problems. We have population 950, how the gods rise angry. Let us stop that now. Um, where else can I put? Yeah, just shrine there, okay. Okay, that was dangerous. Actually, I might need that area. So I'm just gonna put another shrine to Ra. Like there, okay. That works. Because I might need to shift that firehouse so that I can have a road extend from here. Yeah, that's actually fine if I do this. And I roadblock this so that I can have this road extend up this way to set up for the sandstones. But money isn't really an issue right now. Employment is. So I need to start farming. Workers rejoice at a raise. Six months to comply. Okay, resentful. I need to raise this by two. I need to irrigate these farms here. I'm probably going to need a second work camp but I don't have the employment for it. So I think I actually cut back on industry a little bit, on pottery and flax, bringing in the people I need so that I can fit the second work camp to keep farming going. We are going to need... I can set this up. This is just gonna hold figs. I am going to roadblock. Actually, I don't have to roadblock. Employment comes from there. There's that famine, okay. But actually, let me just set this to not accepting yet, because we need to fulfill that request first. I have to go clear across okay. the city with these goods. It'll take all day. 200. 
we just aren't producing enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, we might be late on that. We should be fine. I can always raise kingdom rating later. I'm not gonna stress out about it. I need to feed people. Too few people are working, okay. Figs are in. I can dispatch that. I can allow this to be accepting figs. I'm gonna need a lot more figs next time. Barley is a bit of a problem. I guess I can just open this trade route now and start selling the barley. Export all of it. We should be fine. We should be oversupplying that because we can only sell 2,500 a year. Because we just drowned a lot of barley. And it's June now. We have maxed beer exports. We're like halfway on pottery. Halfway on linen, okay. Consider moving all the barley and beer production to this side. I can at least shift the barley production to this side, it'll actually work out better. Change all of this to figs to feed this housing block. That should work. Gods are not angry, we're not gonna be cursed. Set that to getting. Can we? Yeah, shift the figs into the granary. I'm going to need to change. Get rid of these houses, put down a bazaar there. Yeah, this isn't gonna feed a lot of people. <laughs> Maybe I should just wait till the next harvest. Ah, oh, this, this is tricky, this is tricky. I hope if an invasion's coming. New trade route available. Because I took so long, uh-huh. The food did help alleviate the effects of the famine somewhat. A new trade route, Cargo Oasis, can be opened. Cargo Oasis? Land trade route, they buy beer and pottery. And they sell figs. How much are figs? Buyers pay 33? I'm just gonna import it. And we're already selling beer and pottery. And importing that will allow me to set up the bazaar. Set up the bazaar right there. Set this to not buying anything yet. Beer and pottery is already there, so as soon as food is supplied, we can easily just start evolving everything in one big shot. Which should be amazing. Uh, we can now... ...have more breweries, more potters. Oh, it's actually a little crowded down here. This is just holding pottery, right? You know, money's not really an issue. So I'm not going to be too concerned about that. Food is the main worry. We are already overproducing beer. So I'm just going to put down another potter. And I'm going to set it so that we export when we're over 400 beer and over 400 pottery. Just so we do have a stockpile of that. And then we can buy that when necessary. We just imported some figs. That's great, and it's not killing the bank. I also need to put down... Oh. We don't have an academy on this map? We don't have an academy? I was gonna put an academy to train the last archer, but we don't have an academy. Buy figs. We're just gonna keep buying figs so that 
if our harvest isn't enough, then we'll just have a, a surplus, so that's fine. Two work camps should get that going. No inundation at all in this next year, which sucks a little bit because... Okay, wait. Hang on. Is there a good spot for this? <laughs> Not really. There's no aesthetically pleasing spot for this, so I'm just gonna have to put it somewhere. Can I just stick it here? But that might cause some issues later on. I'm just gonna put it, like, here. No. I'm gonna need entertainment on that side. Yeah, I'll just put it here. Festival Square. I may or may not move that later. Osiris, lavish festival, have a festival. Guys, I know you love it when I throw festivals, so there we go. <laughs> Festival Throne. Okay, it's October now. I am late on the luxury goods, but, you know, and I'm also just going to set this to constantly importing 200, just so that keeps going, right? Uh, what is our kingdom rating? 28? Okay, as long as the other kingdoms don't come to kill me, it's going to be fine. Okay. okay, um, yes. Oh, so, that's throwing me off a bit. I'm just gonna, yeah, do that. Okay, so we're throwing a festival. We are feeding some people. Uh, desirability obviously is an issue. I can fit... Crocodile statue there. One of these city guys over there. That might help a little bit. Yeah, get these evolved. Once these houses start getting fed a bit, I can destroy these houses, put down a pavilion on that side. Get entertainment going. More people are gonna move in, so I'm gonna put down a shrine to Ra, a shrine to Osiris, and a shrine to Pata. Okay, another shrine each for each god. That should keep them relatively happy. Uh, we can put down a large... There's a la lavish festival. I'm gonna put down... Maybe not tall guy. I'm gonna put down... Never really use these guys. I'm gonna put down two of these guys. Right? Just a garden in the middle. That looks fantastic. I should leave a three gap more often. Okay, that evolves these houses. That's nice. These guys are just... What are they actually doing? I'm not entirely sure what they're actually doing, but it's okay. Um, 1,000 people now call your city home. I don't know if we're at all able to get an Osiris Blessing to get some kind of flood. Perhaps I should just spam shrines, but I'm not exactly that rich. Workers rejoice at raise again. Okay. By two. Yeah, so I'm not going to spam shrines quite yet. We do have more pottery coming in. It is February, so trade's all reset. I don't think we're quite maxing it out anyway. I can sort of get started on... I'm just going to set this to export. Do I want to get started on that? I'm 
I'm gonna need a desirability thing there. I can just put firehouse architects post like that. So that road will be covered. Compliance now possible. I will send the luxury goods out. We are slowly importing a little bit of gems just to keep that industry going. Employees needed. That means we are hitting that goal. Food is slowly being distributed. This next harvest, it's not going to be great, but it should get us a little bit stable. With that now gone, I actually need to destroy these houses so that I can extend the pavilion out this side. I need to get rid of those houses as well. Also, to make sure this is stable, I will put down an architect's post on that side. Pavilion. Can't go there? Okay. Pavilion will go there. We can put down... A juggler's school. I guess they could eventually be there. I'm just gonna put down a juggler's school first. Okay, we have one fort of archers, which is not great. I probably should build another one. And I think I will reduce my gems import to just maintain 100. We don't need to bring in that much. And I think it's slowly costing us. Okay, if there's gonna be another luxury goods request, it should be fine. Juggler's coming on down, which is gonna be great. I can put another large statue here. Yeah, just one of these guys. That should help with the desirability in this area. Still not enough? No, no, there we go. Okay. Juggler's gonna come into this block, which is great. Evolve these houses. Okay, we're feeding people. Not a main priority for me, but there you go. I'm just gonna put another fig farm there. I probably should have done that a long... Let's undo that. Ah, the button's gone. <laughs> oh no, it worked, it worked. It's almost harvest time, so I'm not gonna do that. Did we run out of barley? How did I sell all my barley? Gonna keep this at maintaining 800 then. To make sure there's enough to go around. I thought I should be producing enough barley. Kingdom standing climbs? Okay, two points. Here comes the harvest. That should allow us to feed people. Barley's coming in, pottery's going out, flax coming in, linen's going out. Is this second dock even working or is it glitched out? I think I will just get a second fort of archers. There's no chariots on this map, so I'm gonna get a second fort of archers and the rest should be infantry. This second dock is not even working. Wait, wait. No, no, it is, it is, it is. Okay. Okay. Here comes the barley. Here comes the figs. We can start feeding the rest of this block, I think. How's our employment? 10% unemployment, which is great. That allows me to put down sandstone quarries. Let's start with three. Extend this road out. This storage yard is holding sandstone. And just in case, who knows what people are going to request. Sell anything over eight, so we get a little bit of a stockpile first. Sandstone's coming in. Okay, that should be all the resources. After this, we probably need... Who sells copper? Wenet. Copper. 
No, no, no. Copper weapons. Wait, is there a water trade route for copper? No, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, how much is copper? Buyers pay 240, jeez. That's a little painful. Gonna need a couple weaponsmiths there. 240? Okay, well, second fort of archers is coming in. Um, oh, the intro mentioned wood, didn't they? Men never sells wood. So does Sumor. Okay, so we already have a trade route open for wood. I guess we could just have this holding half, or this holding quarter. So we can import some wood if need be. Because transport wharves? Meaning we need a shipwright. That's a little painful. I could temporarily shut down a dock for a shipwright. But then transport wharves. Not quite as easy. I only have room for four. Five, because that's a little glitched. Is there only room for five of these in this current setup? And you guys are right. I should save. Haven't saved all this time. Okay, food is going out, 7% unemployment, I can get rid of some houses to help stabilize the food supply and also to manage unemployment. There was no flood at all this year, fertility of everything is 60-ish. Not the worst, not the best. Barley harvest might be a little low this coming year. But I gotta start importing weapons. Or rather, copper. Let's just keep it at two. Luxury goods will slowly continue. Buying one gem is fine. Excellent inundation next year, that's great. Sandstone coming in. Food looks like it should be stabilizing. Ordinary cottages. Okay, I'm actually a little relieved that we don't need an academy. Should I even start on this? No Carpenter's Guild. Right. I will be needing a road coming up this way. Eventually, so I'm just going to set that up now. To roadblock that. We are going to need... some houses in the middle of this road. I don't have a choice but to do this. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. Wood can come in here. Then we could put the construction guilds around here. Carpenters, stonemasons. How's our employment? 10% unemployment. River of blood? 
Woe unto us, the waters once the source of life and nourishment are poisoned with blood. How long will it be until this vulgar blight is lifted? What? This is new. A gift of 1,300 linen. Thank you. I'm not sure what that means. Oh. Oh, well, that's different. Huh. Wh what? What? Malaria risk? Oh, is that is that what it's doing? Is it pushing up malaria risk? My water carrier is also dead. Did it kill Did it kill my current water carrier? <laughs> well, this is pretty <laughs> It's pretty grim. Even the the marsh for the papyrus Okay, some copper is coming in, so we're gonna... Okay. The water is poisoned. Do wells work? I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Wells do not work. That is going to wreck my industry very soon. Um, good thing I prepared for that. Okay. Okay, what happened? The the river is blood and water doesn't work anymore, so all of my housing is gonna devolve. We can't mothball certain buildings like we can in Caesar 4, so... Huh. Well, it's a good thing I haven't started supplying pottery and beer to the people. Money is pretty stable. <gasps> it's back to blue. Okay. And also, a royal mayor gamers act to celebrate his many achievements. Pharaoh is building something so massive that he needs to send send you to send you to send thirty four blocks of sandstone P to P Ramses within twelve months. Whatever the project is, it is sure to add to Egypt's glory. 34. Okay, well, I guess I just set that to stockpiling and I'm going to need a storage out here. Okay, so... The houses didn't devolve. Is water back to working? Water's back to working. Okay. I'm going to need sandstone. Five was correct, I guess. Okay. So we're gonna have to boost up a ton of sandstone. Uh, okay. We managed to not... Oh, uh, some houses are devolving. Okay, okay. Oh, so there's been no flood. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Can I get a road down here? Okay. 
I'll need to slowly change some of these barley farms to fig farms by shifting them over to this side, which means two weapons stored. Okay, so we can actually start on a infantry fort. Water was resupplied. Shot by 37 employees. Not the worst. Not the worst. I need a work camp here to get the barley going. How can I make that work? I don't really want to move those. 700 figs. Is harvest time in six months? Because <laughs> I don't have 700 figs. Fire? What? I, I roadblocked the firehouse. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Firehouse is working. I'll wait for the fire to go out. I'll replace the police station. What is this? Apothecary. Apothecary, physician, police station. Right, okay. We have... Okay. There you go. It's out. Apothecary. Kingdom sending climbs. Physician. Police station. Okay. So... We need a carpenter's guild to get this going. I hope you're planning on a very short monument. <laughs> um, no, no. The plan is to to go a little bit taller. Uh, here comes a harvest. I have to go I have to go clear We don't have enough with these goods. figs to It'll feed everyone. Okay, wait. Just to make sure this doesn't I'm just going to set that to empty. Okay. Let's get the figs in. We have to fulfill this request. It's for how much? 700. Why is the granary taking the figs? I set you to not take the figs. Okay. We'll dispatch that. We'll set this back to getting maximum. Okay, it's a decent amount of figs. With the import, it should be okay. Our money's a little low, but I have been spending a lot. Luxury goods continuing to come in. Uh, I could probably set the import of copper to maintain to 100 as well, like the gems, just so it slowly keeps going. Infantry will slowly start coming in now. Okay. So the next goal is to actually get the monument going and transport wharves in case there's a request for military. So some money came in. I'm gonna set wood to import to maintain 200. And I can get a carpenter's guild. Going. That's not roadblocked, okay. And I might as well put down a stonemason's guild while I'm at it, just to make sure that's there if need be. The request, we're only two blocks short of the sandstone we need. Okay. I don't know if we need sandstone or anything for this monument, or is it just carving it out? Jeez, our harvest was really bad that year. I just need to move this physician so that I can put a work camp. How's our employment? Fine. I'm gonna put a work camp here. So then I can start setting up barley farms here and here. 
I... Bear is about to fly into a rage. Okay, okay, don't worry. There we go. There's your sandstone. You got it. Roadblock that. Then we can have the seven barley farms on this side of the river instead. Increase our fig production there. I'm going to set this to... Emptying. And we can resume selling sandstone when it's over eight units. And I can just have this accept a quarter so the eight units are stored there and we'll sell anything beyond it from here. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. I will leave eight units there. Hmm. Good flood this year. Yeah. Okay, money is holding out. Weapons are slowly coming in. I need wood to come in. Wood has sort of come in. Carpenter's Guild is supplied. That's what hit our money a little bit just now. Here comes the floods receding. So I want to replan some of this. So let me let everything... Okay. So, barley... I can't do that, so I have to do this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. This is not the most efficient placing, but I'm going to do this. Like that. I don't know if that irrigation counts. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I replace these with figs. And that should way boost up our food supply and maintain our barley supply. And also, just in case, I will have one more barley farm. So we have eight barley farms because we seem to be a little short on things, actually. Um, are these all irrigated? Irrigated, not irrigated. Irrigated, irrigated. That is a little annoying. I can just do this. Irrigated, 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 irrigated. Irrigated, okay. That should work. Three work camps, that's a lot of farms for three work camps, but it's not so bad, actually. I got some figs going. This is... Because I sent the figs, they're giving me 317 bucks. Okay, that's good, that's good. What was the Nilometer prediction for next year? Excellent, yes, okay. Sandstone's coming back in. Wood is coming back in. Production is 88% complete. Okay. I was worried that was not going. Infantry is slowly coming in. Now for... The transport wharves. I can, for example, have one here. And that's the, an easy one to set up. Right? I can, of course, have a transport wharf here. Which is... A little trickier to set up. Hmm. Nilometer for next year, not bloody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the barley seems to be working. The figs are all sort of going... Okay, this, this setup should work okay. Here comes the last worker to get the barley production going. Okay, that's good. That should bring in enough barley. It's one more barley farm and we had a good flood this year. Sandstone is being sold as well. Oh, look at that. We got some scaffolding. He's climbing all the way up there. Jeez. 5% complete. Cliffs. Okay. What's the next step? 
Just more scaffolding? Is it just scaffolding and carving? Because that, that's pretty straightforward. Because um, if that's the case, I can have a look at my goals here. Prosperity 35 needed. Kingdom standing climbs. 80 needed. Okay, so what I actually need to set up is a personal mansion. Um, I can live in the shadow of Abu Simbel. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. Um, I don't think I can make that work efficiently. Unless I have the road go around that side. That would actually work. If I have the road come out around this way to around this way instead and I roadblock that and I unroadblock that remove this road I can then have the transport wharf here smart <laughs> uh, the Abu Simbel monument is like the Sphinx okay so it's very straightforward that is filling up. I'm waiting. I think we need this big harvest of food. Then I can supply beer and pottery to these houses. That should get us up to where we need to be for our... Um, I think I need to replace some of these houses. What's our population requirement? 2,200? Okay, that's not so bad. Employment. We have some unemployment. So I actually need to put down like a conservatory nowhere that's uh, that's going nowhere yeah another scaffolding here okay so we have like three maybe four scaffolds going up gods pata okay Let's just try stifle that first. Also, we are overproducing clay, but we have unemployment, so I'll just leave it. Okay. Hopefully that... Okay, it's back to resentful. Okay. Oh, thank you for using Zach God's emote in chat. <laughs> Get temples to the local deities? Yeah, I probably should. Um, I'm just waiting for this harvest. It's gonna be a good one. Our money is struggling. Uh, uh, could fit things around. Why is our money struggling so much? Is it because we're importing gems, wood, and hmm, copper? Import to maintain 200, but somehow I have 400. I'm very confused. We have 1,300 luxury goods stockpiled here. And just make more room for luxury goods there. Okay, we're out of debt. This is going to be a pretty big harvest. Like, we are selling stuff, right? We're just, like, not... Oh, we just ran out of beer. That's why, because we harvested so little barley last year, we ran out of beer. I see, that's what's really hitting us here. Uh, I'm going to replace this clay pit with a brewery. Because we're gonna need more brewing going on. I can actually put more breweries up this way, right? 14% complete. Okay, so this is this is pretty straightforward. I can just like put a brewery here. That that won't hurt. That should get us 
the beer we need to make some money. Okay. Okay. I'm not producing enough beer. Stop selling the barley. I mean... It should be fine once we... Look at this. This is going to be great. I have to go clear across... I have to go clear across yes. the city with these... Okay. It'll take all day. And there's no requests right now, so all of these guys... Okay. Should be producing plenty. We're not in debt right now, so things are looking okay. Flax is coming in... We are like... We should be maxing... There's our debt. We should be maxing... Does someone else buy linen? Yes. 800, 500. So we won't be maxing out those sales of linen. Okay. Figs. This is looking good. No employment problems. I need to... Build another bazaar, I think. So this is gonna hurt a little bit, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put these houses back there so that I can have a second bazaar. Now that all the resources are gonna be coming in, we are gonna have figs also being distributed from there. Look at all this figs standing around, barley's coming in, all the breweries are now working, which is great. Employees needed, I know. Let's stabilize the food supply. I can then put down the entertainment we need. We're going to need a conservatory. Stick that at the end. Uh, we are going to need a courthouse. We will need temples to the other gods as well. How are they feeling? Not curseful, so that's okay. Okay, so now let's get all the food distributed. Should I, like, stop importing things? I could build another fort. Okay, well, when the beer starts coming in, it should be better. Okay. This mission's tough. This mission's tough. I need to get down a personal mansion. And also... a village palace. Which I... Can I fit both right here? One, two, three. I think I can. How much is a personal mansion? 225? Okay, I'm gonna put that down and pay myself 20 a month? I guess it's fine, right? So I can start sending gifts to raise our kingdom rating, which needs to be 80, which is pretty insane. How are we so short on money? I don't think I can be selling much more in terms of what we're exporting. I think we're just not having enough. There's some money coming in now. <laughs> Humble Footman says, quoting Gamerzak, When the beer starts coming in, things should get better. Words of wisdom. <laughs> You guys should really just take the things I say and put them on motivational posters. Get out of the way, homeless people. I'm trying to build my palace. Put it on a picture of a sunset or a beach. Uh, perhaps a sky background, you know. <laughs> a field of grass. Put it in a nice cursive font. Just the things I say. Ooh, look at this. We're starting to carve out the top of some heads here. That's good. How is everyone not fed yet? I'm just waiting for, for the food supply to stabilize. Perfect inundation coming in next year. That is fantastic. Perhaps I should just drop another barley farm. Because why not? Okay. 
Uh, okay, that should stabilize that. My own salary should be coming in, so I need quite a lot. Okay, that's going. So food is now not quite stabilized, but I think it should be going well. So now I need to get beer and pottery being supplied to this housing. What's our employment like? No employment problems. If I bring in more people... Well, more people are coming in now. So I'm just gonna preemptively put a courthouse. And also the gods are probably getting a little unhappy. So I need a shrine or two. Ra? Osiris. Patar is amiable. Okay. So that should keep the gods a little bit happier. I want to put down another infantry fort. And also I need to get transport wharves going, but... This is such a pain. Where do I... I have to destroy a dock to put down a shipwright unless I set up something here. Which isn't the worst thing. But then... These clay pits... I think the easiest way is to get rid of a dock. It's 500 for this, jeez. But at least we get two ships down. Mm. And taxation. Yeah, but see, the problem with taxation on very hard difficulty is a village palace costs 1350 So, <laughs> it's pretty expensive. Also, are we selling sandstone? Oh, it's January. Okay. I think we did max out sandstone. Uh, that's not a dock anymore. That's a shipwright. I'm gonna get some transport wolves, just so that is ready, and we're not going from scratch. Uh, I could perhaps fit a... Oh, I have enough money for another fort. Let's go infantry. No, actually, let's not. Let's put down a village palace. Bam. And then I can tax people. Oh, I guess it's going there. Okay. Debt, I know. Okay. Uh, I can fit another transport wharf here, but I'll need to change this to housing. No, I don't. No, 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 no. I don't need to do that. Now that wastes a little bit of money. I just need to shift things around. I just need to move. Hmm. The firehouse. Yes. That works. Yeah, that works, that works. Okay, I can get a third transport wharf down there. Trade is gonna clog up a little bit until I can get rid of this. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. Weapons are actually stockpiling, which is kind of nice. Uh, luxury goods are very stockpiled, so I'm actually gonna turn off gem imports. Unless, uh, until the next request. Because we actually have how many luxury goods? 2,300? That should actually account for quite a lot. We have a transport. We have two transports. That's great. I'm gonna get three transports. And then I'm gonna replace this back with a dock.
Is this going along? Oh yeah, we've got some heads, we've got some faces, look at that. 32% complete? Okay. Tax rate, yes, thank you. 8%. Okay. People should be pretty happy. What is our projected tax income? A th uh, 1,200 a year, that is significant. <laughs> Okay, we, do, we are still running out of barley, interestingly enough. Um, but at least beer production stayed throughout the year. Uh, food is fine. With more barley coming in, I think I can now supply pottery with this one and beer with this one. Splitting the workload means a little distance is okay. Okay, we reset, and now I'm gonna... Yeah, Sajuk is recommending. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight above for maximum happiness, and then maybe 15, 16%? 16% tax rate, which is now gonna equal to 2,400. 15% maybe? We'll see. It's all about happiness. If they're happy enough, we tax them more. Okay, more barley is coming in this year. One more farm is down, so that should stabilize our barley supply. Here comes another transport ship. And now I am going to get rid of the shipwright. Because if it takes more wood... Oh, please don't be... Okay, if it takes more wood, that will actually cost me more. Uh, how much is a dock? 150. I'll just put down another dock. Okay. <sighs> Pottery and beer will need to be going out soon. Here's the harvest. Barley's gonna come back. We're out of debt. Oof, okay. Three transport wharves, not so bad. Save the game again. Yeah. Just in case. Okay, okay. Oh. Now, unless something happens from this point on, that's pretty much it, right? These are going to evolve. We're going to have a little bit of unemployment. A couple extra work camps would not hurt. All I have to do is move this roadblock to here. And then I can fit two work camps there. We're popping in and out of debt. These houses did evolve. They need a supply of beer, which will be coming in soon. Desirability is a bit of a problem. If I could get enough money Oh, this scaffold is going through my palace! Oh no! <laughs> my front gate! <laughs> There's just a massive scaffold in my house, come on! Well... That's how it is. Look, we're getting the nice white houses, which... Need more entertainment? Oh, we need a dance school. This should get us to our... Desired prosperity, though. High unemployment. It's only 11%. But yeah, as these houses evolve, we could destroy some. Because we don't really need much more, do we? I guess one extra work camp would not hurt. Okay, we can put one extra work camp there. Is there anything else we want to boost up here? Now that we're using pottery and beer, that might be... Yeah. I think I destroy some houses. Now, one prudent thing to do would be to destroy the one-by-one one houses. But then again, our population needs to be what? 2,200? I think, I think we can hit that. Once we hit 2,200 people, the important thing is to destroy houses and kick people out. Like, get rid of these houses because they'll have desirability problems, right? Like that. 
those two one by one houses with desirability problems. That's uh Okay, that's 10%. Prosperity hit. We just need a few more people. And with the remaining unemployment we get, we need a culture dump. I forgot we're supposed to be sending gifts. 240. Okay. Every 12 months, I need to send another gift. So I'm going to drop my salary to 12. Okay. These, this is slowly coming along. It's 39% complete. Filikov caught another Zack quote. The important thing is to destroy houses and kick people out. Get another infantry fort down. I might actually want to go into debt for this because military will not wait. We have plenty of weapons. We already have 16 weapons stored. I've stopped importing gems because we have 2,400 luxury goods stored up. We could sell... Does anyone buy luxury goods? You know... If I just get like 800 luxury goods and sell that... I could make some money back. It's a little bit of profit. I mean, it's not really worth it, but yeah, we're gonna accept that. But there's a... What? Double luxury good request? I prepared for this. Um... There are so many places in poor condition. I think I'm still going to sell the 800. I think I'm still going to sell it. Because we kind of need just a boost of money right now. And with two luxury goods coming in right now, I don't think there'll be another one. Right? There's 1,800. Infantry should start coming in. 2,000 residences. Okay. We have unemployment, which means it is time for a culture dump. Uh, this... Okay, plenty of money has actually come in. This uh, festival square needs to go. Here it is. I'm not even going to build it again until I need it. Okay, so then I just need a nice little area here. One, two, three, four. Nice little area here. We'll need to spam some firehouses. Some architects' posts. Culture. Jugglers. We'll need a couple juggling schools and then to watch them juggle. A gift of a thousand meat? I think Fair is just kind of trying to show off here. Um, sure. I'm gonna set this to no longer getting and you know let's export the luxury goods and I assume we should just start importing a hundred gems okay now I wanted booth 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 six jugglers Okay, are we actually going to hit our desired population here? We're just a little short. Uh, let me check the gods. Ooh. Shrine to Ra, please. Shrine to Ra. 
trying to rock. That should save it. Also, temples will will help with our culture rating. So maybe just jugglers and temples will do. <gasps> Nine months? How big are these invasions? Okay, military on very hard. 31 blocks of sandstone. We'll accept the meat. Okay. Before anything, Osiris and Ra. Osiris needs some help as well. Okay, first, I need to stockpile the sandstone. 24 in storage. I need to allow this to fill to half. Um. I also need to save the game. But is there really much we can do? Nine months, we have the weapons and it's training as fast as it can. We sold those luxury goods, so that's great. We can turn off that export. What a bountiful journey! Who bought I it? The okay. Because I, I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't win before that. Prosperity is fine. Dentist. Okay, let's just try... There's really not much we can do, so I'm going to put down a dentist. Then we probably just need some temples. Perfect coverage for jugglers. Would you look at that? Uh, we also need some of these to evolve. Plazaing it up should do it. How much would it cost to plaza this up? 800? Maybe not yet. Maybe just a few. To evolve the houses, yeah. Compliance now possible. Dispatch that. No longer stockpiling. Export when over 8. Kingdom standing climbs. Set this back to filling to quarter. 47. Okay. We need 80. <sighs> Gems have come back in. Luxury good production is going. We'll just hold on to the meat. Maybe, you know, they'll ask for meat. <laughs> hey, you know that meat I, I lent to you? Can I have it back? I know it's been a few months and refrigeration's not really a thing. That's This is only half done, really. Can I speed it up at all? There's currently no employment problems and we're short by like 150 people. I don't know... I need like one more house, don't I? Evolve that. All these houses are evolved, right? Kingdom Standing Climbs. 51. Seven months. You know, if I rushed, I might have actually been able... I think I need that house there. Uh, if I rush, I might actually be able to win before this invasion. Maybe it's cured meat? Maybe! Maybe! Slingshot! Uh, I can't win before it? Really? I suppose considering this is only hitting 50% now. Guys, I, I did just save. As soon as the invasion was announced, I saved. Prosperity, culture, too few musicians. Maybe I just need some temples, I don't know. Could try. Six months. Couple bandstands might do it. Can I build towers? Nope. 
I don't have a full military. I don't know if I have enough, honestly. Oh wow, we have way too many figs. All the barley's just coming in here. I think I gotta replace some of these figs with barley. Because we do actually kind of run out of that. Kingdom Standing Climbs. Next year's flood will destroy all farms. Did I forget? Okay. Shrines. 5, 5, 11. Amiable displeased. Okay. Okay. Rebuilding farms is not the worst thing in the world. Okay, that house should bring in another 76, which brings us very close to our target population. Some slums actually would do it. Beer pottery is fine. Culture is 35, prosperity is 35. Nine months. Okay. I'm just gonna make a new save game here. And basically it's this invasion. And that's that's gonna be it, right? <laughs> if we can survive this invasion, I think I just speed it up and look at this invasion. We should have four forts here, two of infantry. So it looks like I can get a few more troops if I really wanted. Okay, I... I'm just gonna have to do it. Also, in case I do actually survive this, I need a couple barley farms here. Okay. Let's... This is very hard. Military is impossible. But let's see. Let's see. It's here? Okay. Okay. Is stacking troops still a good idea? Alright. Uyek. Hetawia. Skarabia. Dogon. Medjai. Ooh, Medjai. He's a Medjai? I've played Assassin's Creed. <laughs> okay. Anthos Farm's gonna be gone next year. Yeah, but we need the Bali this year. Okay. If chariots come pouring in... <laughs> There's two infantry forts and one archer fort. It'd be nice if all of my archers started shooting. Okay. Okay. So I know if I reload, I can get a few more infantry. Okay, one fort is running away. Here comes the other infantry. Nubians don't have chariots. Oh, okay. My infantry is being destroyed by enemy archers. Well, yes. But what can we do about that? Okay, one fort of my infantry is running away. There goes my infantry. Jeez. Military on very hard is so hard! Do I at all win this? If they just fight, trade route closes. The trade route to He has been shut down. Which one is He? What did they buy? Pottery, right? Okay. I don't think we can win this. Oh. 
Maybe? The music stopped. Are they running away? Oh, come on! <sighs> and why are my houses ran out of pottery? Okay. Okay. We are going to need... All the extra troops we can get. And maybe some tactics. Maybe some tactics. I do not have academy trained troops here. One month, okay. So I'm going to need to maybe try and... We need to deal with those archers, right? Somehow. You know, I'm just gonna grab this. I can send these guys around that side. We'll keep waiting for a few extra troops there. Every little bit is gonna help. Do we have walls? No. Cleopatra apparently forgot how to build walls and towers. We're gonna try flank those archers. Here comes the first infantry fort. We'll get them coming at us straight away. There's the second infantry fort. There are the archers. Let us charge into the archers. Archers are easier to kill. Mop up, engage nearby enemies. No, just fight them. Our, our military control. Okay, we're now gonna bring in all of our extra troops here. Did it work? Why are my troops not moving? Fight. They're just they're just walking in place. I just just kill them. Okay. We won. Stop trying to click the troops, it doesn't work. Yeah, I know, I know. Too much Age of Empires or something, but okay. That worked. That invasion is dealt with. Desirability needs to be improved there. A little bit of gardens. Okay. Debt reset. We're just short by like 70 people here. So I can just like... Dump a house there and that will bring in 28. If I just dump a house here, that should bring in enough people to hit our target. Okay. How's it been 17 months? 68, okay. So it's now just monument and kingdom. Okay, okay. Save the game. We got past the invasion. That's the scariest part. Military will slowly recover. Don't suppose any of you got academy trained in that. Green, skilled. Green, green, green. Okay, one got a promotion, okay. Mm. Oh, troops in this mission carry over to the next map and you'll want a lot? Okay. Like, all of my troops? Well... We can control our kingdom rating, basically. And our population. Okay, well... We did just save. So if I just speed things up... Do things go well, or do things fall apart? We go in and out of debt. This is looking kinda nice. We have 1,600 luxury goods. I think I stop importing gems again. Because if I stockpile that much, I'm just gonna sell it anyway. City request goods, 1,100 pottery. 
We're no longer ex... No, no, we are still exporting pottery. Who's buying pottery? Carga Oasis. Right, okay. So I just want to stockpile some pottery. I think... Yeah, we're not using that much. Beer, food, all of that is fine. Uh, yep, yep, don't worry. The farms are all gone, but I saved some money. So I needed... Barley? Barley. Barley. That's not... Is this how I did it? Why does this seem wrong? This was barley, 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 barley. Did I really leave a gap of... No, no, no. This farm was here before. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Figs. We have plenty of stored up figs, so I probably don't actually need that many fig farms. Maybe just till there. That should be fine. Okay, that saves us a little bit mo of money. How are people feeling towards me? People are extremely pleased with me, which means I can raise my taxes a little bit. That's 3,800? Completely covering our salary. That's great. Military is coming back in here. I probably want to build one more infantry fort. Right? Oh, the best one of each type. Okay. Is going to carry over. So we're not going to bring all of our military. We just need to replenish these forts. And that's basically it. So I don't need to build another infantry fort. Which is good to know. And this is looking great. 71% complete. So this is my skilled one. So I want this to fill up. Do we have weapons? It should be fine. It should be fine. We've got four left in there. Hundred. One, two, three. Just subbed with Twitch Primes. Thank you so much. Destroy the dentist. Will that limit my culture? A gift of linen. Accept. 800 luxury goods, dispatch. Pottery, dispatch. Okay, that should actually get us very close to our desired kingdom rating. Your culture is capped to 15 without a dentist, really? You know, if your teeth are just horrible, then you're not cultured. Because the trade route has closed, the Egyptian army is engaged in a fierce battle. Imperious Pharaoh demands that you send troops to the distant city of He to enter into the fray. A small force. I guess I send... two infantry forts? That should be good. This just got 16. I'm gonna bring them both down this way. It's waterborne, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw. Oh, look, we got some little entrance going on for Abu Simbel here. That scaffold is still going through my house. So, getting troops onto boats, absolute pain. But we're gonna try. Basically, you have to... How does this work again? These are transports, yeah, yeah. Wait. Send two infantry, one archer? Well, I don't have a... fully trained archer thing, but I can... bring this guy down, I guess. No, just just get down here. Might as well, right? How do I... How do I get them onto the boat again? There's, like, just no coastline. Here. I think I just... Maybe get rid of this clay pit. Get everyone over here.
Right. Right click the transport, embark. Okay, we're gonna work on you. We're gonna work on you. We're gonna work on you. No, cannot reach. Just get over here first. All the troops need to stop moving and then they get in the boat. Okay, so see that one infantry which was coming in there? So this guy is now in a boat. Embark the archers. I hate this so much. Why are there so many people moving in suddenly? Our culture hasn't dropped yet. There's still some infantry walking around here. Okay. They're in. Kingdom standing climbs. These archers, I just... Embark the archers. Okay, we did it. Um, military. One, two, three. They're on. Dispatch now. And they're just gone. Oh, this is looking real nice and refined though. Look at that. Okay, money has come in. Um, all of our weapons are going to be going into that final fort. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this down and up our copper imports. Uh, population should be hitting what it needs to be. It's like very close. If I just put a well there, maybe it'll work. We're like just 40 people away. Um, probably put down some shrines. Osiris. Ra. Ta. We can replace those fig farms. Okay. Farms all back. Money's looking good. Monument is 89% complete. This big entrance is going to be right by my big entrance there. Okay. Uh, dentist is probably still... No, there's no dentist coverage. It's still at 35. <laughs> my culture rating didn't reset. I'm actually, yeah, I probably should save the game just in case. Okay, there we go. Just so we win when we want to win. An ugly curse has descended over the land. Multitudes of frogs pollute our streets and dwellings, forcing residents from their homes. I'm the most popular I'm the most popular person in the city. A lot of people need jobs. Forcing people from their homes. It actually kicks people out. Okay. It's effectively like plague. Right. Okay. Well, we got some frogs. Employees needed. 17? Okay, we had 32? Eh, not so bad. I need to replace that clay pit.
Okay, more weapons are coming in here, which is great. This is at 12. What was that? Abu Simbel finished! Oh, they, they just painted it up, like, immediately. Skilled laborers have created an eternal monument that boasts the glory of our pharaoh and the might of Egypt. A truly spectacular achievement. L let's have a look at this. Look at that. That's pretty good. We gotta, like, garden it up outside or something. Like, this, this is not doing it justice. <laughs> There we go. With the, the giant rad scorpions over there. Look at that. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Right? Oh, it's like got these little statues on her. Hey, they're reusing assets. That's the bird statue. <laughs> Ooh, we can fit some gardens back here as well. Which also means we can get rid of the construction guilds. We could just... No, no, I need this area running. But I don't need this anymore, right? We don't need a Carpenter's Guild. We can get rid of the Carpenter's Guild. Our population dropped to 1,800. Are you serious? Okay, well, the, the frogs are gone. So now I just have to wait for this infantry fort to be fully stocked. I will go ahead and send this gift. There we go. And drop my salary to zero. A village elder's salary of zero demon. Why does a village elder not get paid? Heroes return. Your victorious soldiers are home from the war. Their numbers might be reduced somewhat since they left, but their comrade's sacrifice was for the good of Egypt. I'm going to need to remove that now. Yeah, you're right. Return. Return to fort. Return to fort. Return to wharf. Return to wharf. I like how them coming back is automated. So now they're green. I'm actually going to keep them off the fort. They're still green. That way the recruiter puts troops into there. They're green. So none of these guys got promoted. We just got one skilled infantry fort here, which is currently shot by two people. Okay. Keeping these infantry off the forts means the next two train troops will go there. He has been renewed. Yeah, they did just buy pottery, so yeah, we'll just open the trade route again. Why not? Garden that up. Brewery right outside makes perfect sense. Okay, so... I think we have won the game. I just wait for this to become 16. Yes. They all return. Kingdom standing climbs. That should put it at like 100, I guess. 87. Close enough. Uh, so now we have our troops done. Population. Please. Jugglers. Return to the city. Taxes are so high. There we go. Come on, people. Move back into the city. There we go. I could let these people burn, but you know, I need to win this mission. Okay, okay. These houses should also be moving back in. I'm not sure if they all fully moved back in yet. From the frogs? No, they haven't. Okay, so we should have enough people here. Let's check our culture rating. The dentist, right. I need my dentist back. Okay, dentist. Go on round. Yes, 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 yes. And guys, we win. Ah, and just in case. <sighs> we finally made it. It took us two and a half hours. This mission was harder than I expected. I thought it was going to be a bit more straightforward, but we had rivers of blood. We had frogs. But at the end of the day, we've got victory. Let's go ahead and proceed.
A job well done. Ramses II is quite pleased with the colossal monument that you created in his honor at Abu Simbel. And that is the end of Abu Simbel. We've got... Uh, it took us 136 months. I think it is possible to win way faster than that. But you know, that's going to be the end of that mission. Another mission in Cleopatra down. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. These missions are pretty tough, but we're still beating them. And I will see you in the next video.